as you know, or may or not know, um, there's an ongoing debate in the region as to whether or not we need the jobs to attract the young talent, the young mm -hmm. educated talent, or whether or not we need to just focus on quality of place that will then attract the young talent, which will then bring the jobs. Mm -hmm. Where do you stand on that debate? I, I am 100% you know, I'm a capitalist, right? So I live in a world of demand-driven economies. And people aren't going to move here unless there's jobs, right? People aren't going to stay here unless there's jobs, unless there are jobs that pay a decent wage, that are intellectually stimulating. And for, for this group of millennials that we're trying to attract, um, allow them to socialize in both a work environment and in their living environment. And so as a business owner, I have to create an environment that is growing, that is stimulating, that is a place where people want to come to work. I, I need to do that not only for my employees, but also for my clients because the happy employee tends to deliver a better work product uh, for our clients. I think that if we're able to create demand, i.e. demand for talent, jobs, then the folks who want to, to work here are the kind of people that will want to live here too. Um, so talking about what a great region we have and the beautiful natural resources and how nice it is to get in your car and go out to Ann Arbor and watch a football game or drive up north um, to you know enjoy the, the outdoors is great, but it's not going to bring people to this region unless there are jobs for them to spend their days, you know, working. Um, so, so I'm a big believer that you got to have the jobs first and, and we should be incentivizing job creation, um, not the other way around. What's our top barrier to being able to do that job creation? Um, well, I mean, there's, a, there's, there's our top barrier to creating jobs in the state, well, it's taxes. Um, <laughs> Don't get me started on you know the Michigan business tax, and um, and the inherent uh, handicap that it provides to small businesses in the state. And, I, and I'm not talking about really small businesses. I'm talking about small businesses like mine. 200 employees. Um, we're over. We exceed the limit for you know all of the taxes not being applicable to us. But it basically, it, if you look at that tax, that Michigan business tax today, it's a 1% tax on revenue, it's a f nearly 5% tax on profit, and there's a 20% surcharge layered on top of it. So for a company that produces a 20% profit margin, it's essentially a 10% tax on profits. There isn't another state in the union that charges taxes like that. And it is particularly dangerous for service related companies because that revenue tax is offset by cost of goods sold or products that you buy which benefits manufacturing companies but for services companies knowledge based economy services company the tax is incredibly um, egregious now you know I moved into a brownfield so I've, I've been blessed with the fact that that tax is is um, credited for me for a number of years, so it's not hurting me the way I imagine it would hurt other companies in the state that don't happen to be in a brownfield, or other companies in the state that are moving from outside Michigan into Michigan because they probably don't even look at Michigan, they probably don't even consider Michigan, given the fact that that tax is so significant. And I'm sure the guys at the MEDC would challenge me uh, on that thought, but. I, I mean, I, I run a business, and if I were looking to move, I would immediately eliminate the states that had a high income tax for, uh, for business.